Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. Uh, I'm just gonna start off by priming my face. And so, yeah, so basically what I wanted to talk about in this video was just the feeling or the experience of being overwhelmed with life, um, really stressed out and just really over it. Um, and I wanted to talk about this actually because I have been, I guess, so stressed lately that I started to break out. And then for any of the products that I use, guys, they will also be listed down in the description below. So if I don't mention them, they will be covered. Um, so I started to get like almost like this rash sort of thing that was happening. Um, it was like on like my lip area and like my face. So it's like just now kind of clearing up, but Basically, because I was going through that, I did not want to shoot a video this week. And I was like, you know what, we'll try this again next week when things are better. We're just gonna wait it out. But then I figured the whole purpose of me starting my channel was to talk to people, to connect with people, to share my experiences and your experiences, and to ultimately help each other and to understand each other. Basically, early last month, I had a couple different experiences that happened all at once, and ultimately, it just it put me in such a space where it felt like things were just really negative, really out of control, and um, what happened was that because there was so much going on at once and I was just trying to like push through, push through, um, it triggered my anxiety. And um, anxiety is something that I have dealt with on and off for years in my life. And for me, it's like when I get anxiety, I just, I can't really focus on much. Like my, my chest gets tight. I get really uncomfortable. It's hard for me to really focus and like be present in like my everyday life. And then it's hard to sleep because my brain won't turn off. Uh, my chest is still pounding. It's still tight. And so, yeah, like just just going through that with my anxiety, and I, I ultimately just realized that one thing about me is that my anxiety flares up when I feel like there's a lack of control in my life. And so I think what was happening was that I wasn't, because I wasn't dealing with those things that happened um, earlier in the month, they were now, like, my body was was sending me signals that like, okay, we need to stop, take a pause, and just really, really get in touch with, with my inner self and figure out what's going on and how we can work past it. And so, that basically was what I forced myself to do this month. And so I had to take a step back because life is so fast paced. And I mean, I'm sure you guys know, like we live in such a society where it's like, if you don't have multiple jobs, making six figures, rich by 25, then you're not, you're not successful. You're not winning at life, you're, you're lagging. And it just creates, this really, really toxic cycle of feeling like you're not enough, you're not doing enough. And I, I wanted to get myself out of that cycle, basically. So yeah, um, basically wanted to get myself like out of that cycle and so what I had to do was just take a step back and for me taking a step back was ultimately removing myself from like social media uh, just temporarily to take a break and to focus more of like what I wanted and what felt more in alignment with where I am right now in my life and where I see my myself going not focusing so much on like what other people are doing because that's the thing is like social media is typically what perpetuates this idea that you're not doing enough or you're not enough just in general but 
most of us are working multiple jobs, we're in school, we're taking care of responsibilities, we might even have families that we're taking care of, other things that we have going on, personal things. So it's like, no, like you are doing enough. Like everyone goes through a season, everyone has times in their lives that are better than others. This is my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Mahogany. Uh, but yeah, so it's like everybody goes through stuff and it's like you should not be made to feel like you're not doing enough because you're not living up to somebody else's expectations or your life doesn't look the way someone else's does. Yeah, like I just decided to take a break and focus more so on filling myself up with with things of, of more, more substance, more value, I guess you could say, um, as opposed to like gossip and pop culture stuff is fun but like at the end of the day it does impact your energy when you're like too involved in things that honestly have nothing to do with you um and so yeah like i've just decided to focus more of my energy on like reading and learning new things and just showing up more for myself and my in my real life and my everyday life um, okay, so I am going to now contour using my Morphe 8H palette. This is the Hi-Fi Highlight Contour Palette. And to set my foundation, I am going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I did not really like I thought about a couple different eyeshadow ideas but I honestly bounced around a lot um, so please bear with me I hope this turns out good I think I'm just gonna wing it so I basically decided just to focus my attention on reading more just trying to fill myself with positive things um, so a book that I'm reading right now is called The Highly Sensitive Person um, and then I'll also link that down below for you guys but basically what the book talks about is um, like what a highly sensitive person is and how as a highly sensitive person you can kind of function within society. Okay, I'm so sorry about that you guys, my camera died. Um, so I'm currently just going into my BH Cosmetics palette and this is in the color Brick and I'm using that as my transition color. Um, but yes, yeah, so what I was saying about the book is that Essentially, it teaches you how to function and thrive in society as a highly sensitive person. And so I basically just kind of discovered the book, um, honestly, on Pinterest. And I, I felt like it was something that resonated with me because I don't consider myself to be like a super emotional person, but I do believe that I am more sensitive, I guess, than maybe some people, if that makes sense. And not like being sensitive is not a bad thing. I think it just ultimately means that you feel and experience and sense things a little bit different and a little bit more intensely than others. I relate to so much of it because for me, it's like I've, I've always been the kind of person that's preferred to go out maybe with like one or two people or like in a smaller group as opposed to like a large group outing. I also feel like being in group settings or just certain environments can really overwhelm me. And so a lot of the times like if I do go out in a group setting, it's almost like I have to go home and like recover from from that experience and just have like some quiet downtime to restore my energy. Like I think the most important thing that we can do as individuals is just learn like healthy, positive ways of, of living life that work for us. Like you don't have to force yourself 
to be like everyone else or to be like your friends. Like, no, it's like, do what works for you. So, but I will definitely link that down for you guys below if you are interested. And then I just went over uh, the color brick with the shade Flare. So that is this like reddish burgundy shade there. I did also go into my Tarte palette and this is the color Flame just for the lower section of my eyelid. And then going back into that BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going to take the color Bark, which is this deep brown shade here, and just use that to blend out a little bit of that shimmer. And in that same palette, I took the color Shine In just for my under brow highlight. And then I'm just going underneath um, my lower eyelid with the color Scarlet and that is this shimmery red color here. Okay, and then now I'm going to go in with that color Top Notch, which is like this peachy shimmery color here. So I did decide to go back into that BH Cosmetics palette with the color Cacao. So that's just like a really dark chocolate brown shade and I want it to intensify my transition area. And then I'm gonna take that color Top Notch. So that was the sort of like peachy shimmery color and I'm just going to apply that to the bottom lash line as well. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and dust off my excess powder. But enough about me, you guys. How are you guys doing? Um, let me know in the comments down below, like how your week is going, just how life is going, if you feel like sharing. Okay, so I did go ahead and do my lashes as well as my mascara off camera. And for the lashes, these are Kiss Lashes and Page Boy, and then the mascara is just Better Than Sex mascara. Um, so yeah, to go ahead and finish up this look, you guys, I am just going to take a little bit of like a light shimmer color for my inner tear duct. And I'm just using the highlighter beam from that same Morphe 8H palette. And then for my lips, this is just my NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Coco. And then for my highlight, I'm going back into that Morphe palette. I'm going to use the shade Venus. OK, 
Okay, so this is the completed look. As you guys can see, I curled my hair just a little bit. I put some necklaces on, you know, because why not? I'm about to leave the house actually right now and get some Chipotle because what can't be solved with Chipotle, you guys? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so ultimately, I really wanted to conclude this video by saying that take care of yourselves you guys there's a lot of different things going on and life gets really chaotic and crazy and you know myself included sometimes we just have to take that step back and find healthy constructive ways of practicing self-care I think that's a, a lot of the times like what it comes down to is self-care is remembering like it's not selfish to put yourself first it's not selfish to say no to something or cancel plans because you want to rest or just have peaceful alone time like there's nothing wrong with that at all so yeah be well you guys take care of yourselves drink water <laughs> myself included um but yeah that is all i've got for this video thank you guys so much for watching i'm sure it probably was all over the place i'm hoping that it made a little bit of sense but if you can relate to any of the things that i mentioned or if you have any comments about anything that i've mentioned if you have any questions about any of the products definitely leave that down in the comment section below and i will be sure to answer it and yeah like i i am pleasantly surprised with this look let me just say that i mean wasn't sure where it was going but it you know it turned out you guys it turned out really really well actually so yeah <laughs> but anyway thank you guys again and i will hopefully see you in my next video have an amazing day guys <laughs> bye